What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Day two on the ice for me. Early ice, Minnesota. We are on lake. Any guesses? We are on Mille Lacs Lake, as you can probably saw by the title of the video. And uh, the lake itself is still wide open, so don't think that the lake has ice on it yet. But some of these bays are locked up. We're gonna check to see how thick the ice is. And then uh, we are gonna drop a line down, get a tip up down, see if we can get an early ice pike. I got about three, four hours time out here. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to catch a fish or not, but we're going to find out. We've got the underwater camera. We'll drop that down, see if we can get something to come through. So stay tuned, guys. Let's drill some holes, check the ice, and uh, let's get fishing on the big pond. All right, got the one-man clam today, a couple pike rods, got the 24-volt Strike Master, and a tip-up in there. And uh, we are just going to set up. And as you can see, all the ice is kind of staggered from it blowing in the shore. And uh, we are going to drill a couple holes. Grab the old 24 volt. All right, let's get some holes drilled. Well, we're at five inches. The old school depth checker. We are in seven feet of water, and we are gonna hope for a big old Mille Lacs gator to come roaming through. So it's a little windy out here. We'll flip the hub over, get the camera on, and let's get fishing. Got the underwater camera right there. Got my jigging rod right here. Gonna be jigging a gold castmaster with a little yellow bucktail. I'll tip that with a minnow. All right, and then in this hole, we'll get the tip up. A minnow on. All right, gonna get this minnow down. Obviously, it's a little bit small. I would like a sucker minnow today to be pike fishing, but it's actually Thanksgiving today, and uh, so happy Thanksgiving. And nothing's open, so I, luckily I had fat heads from the other day out fishing, so it's better than nothing. We get two lines in Minnesota, so we'll set this down right here. All right, tip up has been set. Like I always say, you know, tip ups made to kind of go out farther out to cover some ground, but we want to watch it on the camera. That's the whole purpose. So, tip up will be fun if we happen to get one on it. Do a little hand line and then the hub. But then let's go ahead and put a full minnow on this, and then we will drop this down. 40 pound floral leader tied on the ice braid so we're gonna get down there do a little drag check and uh, yeah I'm not sure if anything's gonna come through in a few hours we got but luckily you guys get the edited version so let's start jigging I'll see you guys underwater Mille Lacs Lake 2022 oh got a big looks like we got a big oh scared him I was actually reaching in the back to grab something and Got excited, thought it was a uh, northern coming through, but it was a nice big perch. Now if we do run into some jumbo perch today, I do have my other rod with a smaller... Here, it's a big spoon for you, buddy. Come here, you hungry? Oh, missed him, because he never had it in his mouth. Let's keep jigging. That was a good sign. Where there's perch, there's pike. He's right down there right now. Eat the hook, buddy. Uh, doesn't have it in his mouth yet. You could see he didn't have the whole hook in it yet. Oh, but he's determined. Looks like a decent perch. I'll, uh, Probably just put a minnow head on, a little slimmer profile in case we do get some jumbo perch coming through. Never know what's going to cruise through down here. It's the big pond, there's big fish, we're shallow. A couple years ago me and my buddy were sitting in this exact same spot and he caught a 28 inch walleye. So you just never know what's going to happen. We'll take a 38 inch pike, I'm just kidding, we'll take a, we'll take a perch. Well, a little update here. It's been about 45 minutes and we just had a couple little perch come through. Munch on some Doritos here. Spicy sweet chili. Those are the best. Still got a couple hours out here. Patience is key. Oh, look at this, guys. Is that a bass? That was a smallie. That was a smallie. Heck yeah, come back, buddy. 
I don't ever really see smallmouth too much on the camera. It's amazing that in the winter they kind of just all disappear, but that'd be awesome to catch one. I made them interested. They're so tiny. I want that first one. Oh, well, the left's a little bit bigger. Not much. It'd be cool to see a pike come in and just eat them all. Come on. Got a school of perch coming. That's cool. Which is going to be the nicest one. None of them. I'll just kind of keep this school here to attract the pike. Got a nice school of bait fish for him. You guys are ridiculous. Well, it's good to know there's good food in this lake for the walleyes. Alright, let's put that away until we see a, another actual real perch come through. We'll keep jigging the big spoon until, uh... I'm about ready to see a fish. Oh, shit! I got him. I got him. Got him. Nice. Nice. There we go, guys. That came in so quick. Alright. He's screaming. Probably gonna have a big mess, but that's okay. You itching to see a pike? All right. All right. All right. He came in so fast for it. He's got my tip up. He's got my camera. The leader's right here, though. He's almost up. Ready to see this fish. Oh, shoot. It's a nice one. Come on, baby. I got a mess going, but yeah, he's at the bottom of the hole right here. This is fun though. Come up here. Oh, come up, come on, turn your head. No, oh, no. He was right there. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, come on, buddy. It's a nice pike. Come on. You're tangled up in everything. There he comes. There we go. All right. There's a nice one. Solid Mille Lacs pike. He came in fast. I was kind of falling asleep, waiting for something to come through, and there it is. That's what I came out here for. Solid fish. Thank you, sir. All right. That right there made the trip. That is awesome. He came in so fast. And uh, that was a fun fight, got a mess. I'm gonna get cleaned up here, get everything back down, get jigging, and at this point I've made my day, but we'll see if we can get another one. All right, we got the tip up back up, new minnow head, and uh, we are going back down there. I'm stoked that we just got one, that made the trip. He even pooped all over my shack, just to uh, make it a whole event. So the rod I'm using is a medium heavy rip and rattle from Delabay. And uh, I got a Sedona 1000. We got braid, 40 pound floral leader. Tied on with that spoon, so did the trick, handled nicely. Does that look like a little walleye or is that the perch? No, it's a perch. Is that a walleye? Get over here. What's that little guy doing in there? Get over here. Maybe it's just a discolored perch. I don't know. It's hard to tell from here. Could just be a funky colored perch. Either way. It's a decent perch. And that's one of the better perches out of all the dinks we've been looking at. I'll throw this little guy down there just for a second. See if he'll bite it. There he is. Come back. Nah, he's probably still a little guy too, but I think he might eat. Real quick. Take it, buddy. Yep. You gotta eat the hook, though. Eat the hook.
and he's back. Round two. And take it. Got him. <laughs> Just a little guy. That's what those pike are chewing on. Alright, I'm going to call it right there. Make the drive home. Pretty stoked. I was out actually fishing some local small lakes and uh, figured I'd just, like I said earlier, I just wanted to stop by here and do an ice check. And uh, we ended up finding ice and successfully getting out fishing. Didn't think I was actually going to catch one. I was hoping I'd catch a pike. Every time I come out here, I always get the old uh, Dead Sea. But today we actually got it done. Really nice pike. A lot of fun. It was a good fight. The main lake's still wide open, so be careful if you guys come out checking ice. You know, stay safe, bring your safety gear, you know. We got some warm weather coming ahead, so, you know, play it safe, guys, and, uh, yeah, have some fun. And we will see you back out on the ice. Not sure where, but it'll be somewhere, or hopefully the fish are. So stay tuned. We'll see you back for another one.